Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to talk to you all about the new bottom sheet modal which was introduced in version 6 of the Ionic framework. There's a few different ways that we can implement this using Ionic and React and today I'm going to go through and show you these in the code. Before we go into the code, if you haven't yet subscribed, please make sure you do. It really helps me out and it also will notify you of any upcoming future videos that I put out. So let's jump in and see how we can implement this in Ionic React. Okay guys, so here we are in the code and I have just set up a little demo page first of all to show you the bottom sheet modal working. So the first one is with the overlay hook and you can see that it snaps to the certain breakpoints that we've provided. And if I clear this one, we can open this one as well. And the second one here, this is just using the standard ion modal component. So we can do it either way. My preferred way is with the overlay hooks because I love hooks in React. So I'm gonna show you both of these and show you how to implement both of these into your app. So let's just click the back home button. And this is the demo page here, but I am gonna switch to the home page and remove this demo button. So the first method I'm going to show you is with the standard ion modal component. And for this one, first of all, what we need is we need to hold some sort of Boolean flag in a state variable to tell the modal whether to open or not. So we can do this very easily with a use state hook variable. So we can just say open set open equals use state and remember to import it. And the initial value is going to be false because it's going to be closed by default or not open. And then I'm going to jump straight into the ion content and create this ion modal. And again, remember to import it from Ionic React. And we just need to provide some props here. First one being, is it open? And we'll pass our state variable to here. And we also need to provide a on did dismiss function and we're actually going to create a little function for this which you'll see in a second and then comes the breakpoint props these are the props that relate directly to the bottom sheet modal so the breakpoints are basically where on the page do you want the bottom sheet modal to snap to whenever it's dragged so we can say breakpoints and the breakpoints are provided within an array so we can say 0 0 0.2 0.5 and 1 for example the next one is the initial breakpoint and this is where you want the bottom sheet modal to appear once it is first opened so we can say initial breakpoint and again this is just a value we're going to set this to 0.5 so it's going to appear halfway up the screen and then there's another prop we can provide called backdrop breakpoint i'm going to set this to 0.2 and the backdrop breakpoint is basically when do you want the backdrop to start to fade in. So that faded background behind the modal, when do you want that to start fading in? I'm setting it to 0.2 because I want it to be visible whenever our modal first opens. So the next thing we need to do is create our little close modal function. And we'll just do this up here. Close modal equals that. And then this is literally just going to set open to false like that. Save that. And we actually need a little button in here. And our on click of this button is going to just set the value of our state variable to true. So we'll say set open to true. And we could, we could create another function for this, but I'm just showing you different parts uh, in how you can implement this. So on click is set open to true. And then we just want to say open sheet modal and save that. Now inside this ion modal component, we need to provide our content. Now I have went ahead and created this modal body component and it basically holds an array of data. Inside this array, there are three objects relating to certain characters. And each character has the name a little bit of text and an avatar to go with the character. This is taken directly from the Ionic documentation that I found in the little example that I found there. So if you're referencing the documentation, you will see this as well. And then within this modal body, it is literally just mapping over the data 
and displaying it in an ion item. So if we go back to our home, we can literally just pop this in here, modal body, and we need to provide a dismiss function, which will be our close modal and save. Now, if we hit this open sheet modal button, you can see that the bottom sheet opens up. It snaps to 0 0.5, the, the 0 0.5 breakpoint. And we've got our little items in here. We can then drag this to the breakpoint number one. We can drag it back to 0 0.5. We can also drag it to 0 0.2. And then finally, we can drag it to zero as well. So that's basically how it's done with the standard ion modal component. With the bottom sheet, obviously we can also provide a header and a toolbar as well. So if I just uncomment this and then open our sheet modal again, you can see that whenever you provide the header and the toolbar, it acts just as standard. So you've got your title and another button here to close the modal directly. So you can leave that in or you can remove that. It's not needed, but it's there if you want to use it. So the next one that we're going to look at is the using the overlay hook, the use ion modal hook. Now, this one is probably my favorite, basically because it's simple and I love hooks. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to set up our use ion modal hook. So we say const present dismiss equals use ion modal, which is directly imported from ionic react as well. And we can pass in our modal body component that we've already created. So we can just pop it in here. And then within here, we've got com component props. So what props do we want to pass to this component? Well, I think the dismiss function would be a good prop to pass. We're already using a dismiss function in that component. So we could pass it directly like this. And we could call this function that has been returned from the use ion modal hook. Now that we have our use ion modal hook set up, in order to provide the breakpoints and the on did dismiss method to this hook, we need to set up some modal options. Now we can provide these as an object directly within the present call. However, I tend to just set it up separately as its own object before we call the present. So in here, we're going to have on did dismiss, and this is basically just going to be the dismiss function. Then in here is where we set up our breakpoints and our initial breakpoint and also our backdrop breakpoint. So our breakpoints are literally just that array again, 0, 0 0.2, 0 0.5 and 1. And then our initial breakpoint is going to be that 0 0.5 because we want it to show halfway up the screen whenever it first opens. And then our backdrop breakpoint is going to be that 0 0.2 again. So we can save that now. And now if we come down and let's just copy this button and create a new button. Instead of set open the true, because we're using our hook now, we can just call the present and pass in our modal options that we've already set up. And we can just call this open sheet modal with hook. Now you can just pass the object in here directly. But I tend to find that this just looks a little bit neater and it's a bit easier to maintain, especially if your app is growing. If you scale your app and you have all your modal options up here at the top of your component before it's actually used within your return or within your JSX, it's just a little bit better and it's a bit easier to maintain down the line. So with that set up, let's try out our sheet modal with the overlay hook. So let's press this button. And you can see the exact same functionality happens. The sheet modal opens up at 0 0.5. We can drag it to 1. We can drag it back down to 0 0.5. We can drag it back down to 0 0.2. And then we can drag it away as well. And the header and the toolbar also works with the, the hook method as well, as you can see. But again, you don't need to include the header and the toolbar, only if you want to. So guys, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. This has been how to use the version six of the Ionic framework sheet modal within your React applications. 
using the standard ion modal component and also using the overlay hook, the use ion modal hook as well. It's up to you which one you want to use. Personally, I love hooks, so I would always go with the present dismiss with the use ion modal, but it's completely up to you how you do it. If you enjoyed this video and you haven't yet subscribed, please make sure you do. I'm going to be putting out videos in the very near future with all of the V6 components that were introduced. I've also got a lot of content planned and coming up in the near future as well, which I'm really excited about. And if you're a returning subscriber or a returning viewer, thank you so much for your support and I will see you in the next one.